There are lots of great reasons to pursue solar. But among the very best reasons, building solar projects is very interesting and it's really fun. There are lots of folks who are excited about solar, enjoy sharing their projects, learning, brainstorming, experimenting, and they love to help anyone new to solar get started. That shared enthusiasm led to the creation of our email group, Simply Solar. You're welcome to join. I'd like to share with you some of the projects that our Simply Solar group members have built themselves. We hope this video will help you to generate ideas for ways that you can enjoy solar at your home. So sit back, relax, and see what we've been up to. We hope you'll be inspired. There are lots of really neat, attractive, inexpensive ways to capture the sun's energy and use it for heat. This is Rich's Solar Batch Water Heater. The sun simply heats the tank, which is painted black under glazing. Stephen in Ontario, Canada, put together this window solar air heater. It's as easy to install as a window air conditioner. Since we're a do-it-yourself group on Simply Solar, we're always looking for easy, inexpensive, new, and innovative ways that work really well to capture as much of the sun's heat as we possibly can. And here's a great example of just that. What Mike down in Texas did is take Coroplast, which is just the material that you'll see on signs on the side of the road, particularly during the election season. He's simply running water through that Coroplast in a box under glazing, and it's proving to be a very, very efficient collector. This is the aluminum downspout design that I have here at my house. Um, by the way, my name's Scott, and I live in Bel Air, Maryland. This design has really caught on for a couple reasons. Uh, number one, it's very efficient. It really does a good job of heating up the air. It lends itself to a long horizontal installation, which makes for a really nice low-profile neighborhood-friendly design. It's also very easy to build, and it has the advantage that the air coming from your house travels through the downspout. It never mixes with the outside air at all, so it's all completely contained and separate. Here are a couple more examples of the downspout collector. Dick in Ohio built this downspout collector, and as you can see, sitting out in the yard, it looks quite big. But when he installed it up against the house, it really looks nice and fits in, and if anything adds to the appearance, it's a really, really attractive install. Fritz, who lives just down the road from me in Falston, Maryland, put together the this downspout collector and he mounted it on his roof. He has a low sloping roof so it doesn't obscure the wintertime sun. And Scott S who lives in the Finger Lakes region of New York took my original downspout collector design and really added a lot of nice enhancements. Jay built this reflective trough collector. And here's another real attractive variation. I have to confess, I got a lot of pictures in a flurry, and I don't have everyone's name and location. So if you're watching and you see your collector on this video and I haven't identified you, please email me. I'd love to annotate the video with your info. And here are a few more various collectors from all around the country. Stephen in New Jersey built these hydronic collectors. Hydronic is just a fancy term for fluid. As Sean in Minnesota demonstrates, collectors can be mounted anywhere. And John, just north of me in York, Pennsylvania, demonstrates you can certainly preserve your yard space as well. Doug in Tennessee has been a longtime solar enthusiast. Doug engineered and built his home with some very impressive solar enhancements. Gary of BuildItSolar.com, who lives in Montana, put together this cold climate, high performance domestic solar water heating system. That's a really an attractive build. I have a lot more about Gary in just a minute. 
Now we're getting into some larger collector designs. This collector is simply soda pop cans painted black under glazing. Kenneth in Minnesota used vented soffit for the heat absorber in this hot air collector. In addition to vented soffit, simple screen, either fiberglass or aluminum, is also a great choice. Bob in Ontario built this backpass hot air collector. The air simply moves back and forth behind the metal and the collector looks just like a window. Here's a porch solar retrofit by Jay in New Mexico. Ed and Elaine in North Carolina put together this very attractive installation. These are series connected serpentine collectors for hot water. And here is a south wall passive air heater. This is my latest addition. It's a three bay hot air collector used for comparative testing of different heat absorber designs. This innocent little experimental collector that Gary out in Montana built that uses PEX tubing instead of copper wound up leading to something quite a bit bigger. This is my 24 foot by 8 foot PEX collector based on Gary's design. The nice thing about PEX is that it doesn't require any soldering at all. It just runs in a serpentine pattern under flashing painted black inside the collector. I've added a separate little baby collector next to my big one for comparative testing of other designs. Kenneth out in Minnesota also built this really ingenious collector system. This collector has eight bays but four of them can be closed during the summer months when you don't need all the heat and then the, in the winter time you open up the wings and presto you're ready for some serious space heating. Gary of BuildItSolar.com in Montana built this solar shed. Now if you haven't been to Gary's website you really should take some time and check it out. Gary has been the driving force behind DIY Solar and his site has really become the mecca for all things solar. And I really want to thank Gary for all his help and all the fun that he's generated for a lot of us along the way. And we'll wind this up with a couple more behemoths. Uh, this is another Gary. Uh, collector, uh, affectionately known as Grief's Monster. And Tom put together this monster, which is actually modeled off of Gary's hot water system that I uh, showed you earlier. Tom uses this for both hot water and space heating. Now, I don't want you to think for a minute that you need to build a monster to get a lot of meaningful heat from the sun. The collectors we showed you earlier on, um, some of the downspout collectors, low profile collectors, if you're new to solar, they are a great way to start. If you start small, that's cool. Keep in mind that every BTU that you generate with solar, that's one less BTU that you're going to have to pay for. And the best part of all, if you're like us, you're going to find that the hobby, art, science of solar is really fun. So if you're ready to get started with solar, or if you just want to learn more, please join us on our email group, Simply Solar. We're eager to meet you, and we will enthusiastically help in any way we can. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. We really appreciate it. Take care.